Okay, here we have a 99 to 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee, referred to as a WJ Jeep. This one has the straight six, 4.0 liter. If you're installing a high output alternator, then the first thing you need to do is get a shorter belt because the high output alternator has a smaller pulley, allowing it to spin more times per minute than your standard alternator allowing it to put out more amperage at idle. The shorter belt you'll need is right here. So this one is 87.5 inches. I believe the factory length was 88.2 or 88.3 inches it was. I mean, it's pretty straightforward how to actually change the alternator itself. You use a half inch ratchet, you pull down on the tensioner, you slide the belt out of the way, take out your bolt here, take out your bolt there. Mine on the bottom actually isn't a bolt anymore. I made mine a stud. Since I was going to originally put the alternator case ground down there and then whenever it showed up from brand x this one's a 345 amp alternator this one actually had a tab up here to connect the ground to the case allowing it to be a true big four electrical upgrade as well so i attached my ground from the negative of the battery over to the alternator case here, where it joins the ground that goes down to the engine. So my engine ground comes up to here, joins up with the alternator case ground, and runs back to the negative of the battery. Then from the positive of the battery, the charging wire here comes over to the output stud on the alternator itself. Since you're running a high output alternator, you definitely do not want to use the stock. Uh, I think it was 8 to 10 gauge wire at best. You will not be taking full advantage of the power that the high output alternator creates. If you don't upgrade to at least a big three, which is when you upgrade the ground from the battery to the body, specifically on a Grand Cherokee. Your body ground is over here. You just wanna clean it up. I use one aught wire. So my ground from the body goes from here over to the negative of the battery. Then from the negative of the battery, it runs over to the alternator itself, grounding the case of the alternator. And then again, like I mentioned, it goes down to the engine, actually grounding the engine as well. Now you have a complete big four upgrade to go along with your high output alternator. In this case, mine is external voltage regulator being used. So my original connector is just over here. Mine doesn't actually plug in because I don't want to charge at around 14.2. I'm going to add about 45 amp hours of C-Max, so I can't charge around 14. I need to charge about 15.5 to 15.9. Using this voltage regulator here, I can go to 15.9, 16 volts, no problem. Which also, I don't have any battery lights or anything on. Everything works just like it did stock. And I just turn my voltage up here from this little dial now. Other than that, installing a high output alternator on a Jeep WJ with a straight six is pretty simple as long as you know the length of the belt you need and you take the precautionary measures to upgrade the wiring. Like I said, in this case, it's a big four. Some people do a big three and they skip the alternator case ground. No, it's not a real big deal, but I mean, you're spending 500 bucks on a high output alternator. Why not add the alternator case ground? It just makes sense to do it the right way and be done. 
If you do have any questions, leave me a comment. Hopefully this video helps you out. Thank you.